So how do you use ChatGPT? In this quick video, I'm going to be going over a ChatGPT demonstration just to give you an idea of what, how it works and what you can do with it. Given the fact my channel is mostly about marketing, I'm going to be doing some examples that revolve around social media. As you can see in the bottom, what I put is write a Facebook post talking about the dangers of complaining too much. First thing that came to my head, what can I say? A lot of people like to complain on social media, so let's give them some uh, reasons why they probably shouldn't so much. After that, what I want to do is either click enter or click on this little button right here and give it a second. All right, so here's just a very quick example. Hey friends, have you ever stopped to think about how much time and energy you spend complaining? While it's normal to vent and share our frustrations, constantly complaining can have a negative impact on our mental and physical health. It can also affect our relationships and make us less effective in problem solving. Let's make a conscious effort to focus on solutions and gratitude instead of dwelling on negative experiences. So here's something else that you can do. For example, say you want to write more or just get another response. You can do regenerate a response or you can just do something like write more. Keep in mind that whenever you're using ChatGPT, it's kind of like you're talking to someone, you're asking a question or you're like telling them something to do. Like I said, hey, can you write a Facebook post about so-and-so? That's great, but can you write a little bit more? Enter. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly go over this and you can pause it and read it if you want, but it talks about complaining too much can also make us less likable and create an unpleasant atmosphere around us. It can lead to others not wanting to be around us or engage with us. We should strive to surround ourselves with positivity and optimism, not only for ourselves, but for those around us. Uh, and it just keeps going and going or not too much longer, as you can see. So that's a good example of just writing more. So if you wanted to write a social media post, that is something it can certainly help you with. If you happen to be like, me and you like doing articles or maybe uh, you need help with writing articles or anything like that you can use this for of course creating your blog post your articles and just getting started so give me a second i'm going to do another example all right so write an introduction paragraph about why youtube is the best social media platform maybe this is going to help you with writer's block because you're staring at a blank screen and you don't know what to write let's see what we get Okay, so I'm not going to read all of this, but as we talked about, it gives reasons why YouTube might be the best. So here's something else that you can do. You can kind of pivot if you want, and you can add more to this in a different way. So we're talking about why YouTube is the best social media platform, but let's tell ChatGPT to add a little bit more based on something specific. All right, so I put keep writing more, but compare YouTube to Facebook and talk about the benefits of both. Let's see what we get. Alrighty, and so it's been a, a little while and it's still not going. There has been some problems with ChatGPT in like every video I've done previously. I talked about how the traffic is so high that there's been some like slowing down and uh, having trouble logging in. What I'm going to do is just do a new chat and I'm going to do, I copied it. I'm going to paste it. Let's put compare YouTube to Facebook and talk about the benefits of both. Enter. Okay, and as this continues on, I'm just going to talk over it and talk about this. So keep in mind, whenever you want to put something in ChatGPT, once again, you can always continue on with it. You can always add to it. You can always fine tune it. That's what's great about this. You can start off with an intro. You know, even before an intro, you could do an outline if you wanted. You could do bullet points. You can do the conclusion. You can do each specific paragraph. That's really going to be up to you. But as you can see, we've got a good amount of information here. So if we were going to combine this, I think, was it in this last one? Oh, where was it? Uh, let's see. Nope. So why YouTube is the best we had. Okay. Yeah. So there was an error generating a response. It was just lagging or something, but this has been happening just because of all the people on here. We could have used this paragraph here. And of course we could have combined that with what we had here. So we have a good amount. So that's just a very quick demonstration. Uh, I will be doing, I've done a lot of videos. I will be doing plenty more of pretty much almost every use case you can think of, especially when it relates to marketing, articles, videos, social media, overall, and just business related um, use cases and templates just to give you more ideas of what you can use. But in case you're not too familiar with it, I hope this video helps you to give you a good idea. Maybe it gives you some light bulb moments where you can just go in here and ask anything you want. You can literally ask anything you want. It's up to you. I know it's uh, it's hard to really demo everything when pretty much everything is a possibility. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James and I will see you in my next one.